I just managed to snatch Seth Godin when he came out of the speaker's lounge here at Supernova and he agreed to do a vlog with me. Um, if you want to see more of those cool talks with tech speakers, don't forget to subscribe to my vlog. You can say something. Hi, Seth. So, two cannibals are eating a car <laughs> and one says the other one, does this taste funny to you? <laughs> Hi Seth, it's, Hi. Uh, it's so nice to meet you here. Um, welcome everybody, I'm here with uh, Seth Godin. I'm actually really nervous right now. I'm, I'm usually ner <laughs> ner nervous. Um, so Seth, you obviously know a lot about marketing. Uh, can you tell me the three main trends in marketing right now? There's a divergence between selfish, narcissistic, short-term, profit-seeking, uh, spammy marketing. Yeah. And the other kind. And yeah. the other kind is making things better by making better things. Yeah. Showing up with anticipated personal relevant messages that people actually want to get. So that's the first thing. Second thing is people are discovering that everyone is a marketer. Meaning if you have a keyboard, you're one click away from a billion people. Yeah. What are you saying? Who are you reaching? And the third thing is that social media is a trick that has manipulated lots of people to waste a lot of time and it's a symptom of you doing good marketing it's not the cause of okay. you doing good marketing. What are the biggest misunderstandings in marketing right now? What are companies still doing wrong? Maybe something about consistency versus authenticity? Yeah I don't think authenticity is a real thing. Okay, uh, I think consistency is way more important. You and know, a combination of both? If, well if you go to get surgery on your shoulders you don't want an authentic surgeon who says, oh, I don't really feel like it today. I can't give you... You want a consistent surgeon. You want a professional. Someone's going to do what they said they're going to do. And when you buy a pair of Nike sneakers, you don't care if the person who made them wants you to run faster. You just care that they do what they said they were going to do. Yeah. So consistency puts us on the spot. Okay. Authenticity lets us hide. Okay. Right? And so I think that the mistake that marketers make is they think they can buy attention. Yeah. But they should earn it instead because when we earn attention, everything goes better. How can companies earn attention? Make something worth talking about. Okay. What is something worth talking about? <laughs> well, uh, think about every brand you've discovered that you didn't discover because someone came to your house. Okay. Right? So if you've ever used Airbnb, if you've ever used Facebook, if you've ever uh, bought a, uh, a Beckham sweatshirt with a big X on it. Why did you do those things? Yeah. You did it because someone told you about them. You did it because people like us do things like this. That's because someone chose to make something worth talking about. Okay. How can startups today uh, with marketing grow their business? Well, I think what startups today should do is understand that marketing is their business. Okay. The thing they make, the way they make it, the way they talk about it, who it's for, what it's for, how it exists in the world, that's marketing. Okay, my last question, what type of companies will not survive? I think the companies that are going to be in the most pain, they'll probably survive, but be in the most pain, are the giant companies that are used to making average stuff for average people. Okay. Because, you know, mustard and ketchup and underwear, or whatever it is, average stuff for average people, that's the boring middle of the market. It's disappearing. Okay. It's either going to super cheap or going to be worth paying for. But that average stuff, Gone. So, Seth message, don't be average. Thank you so much. A Thank pleasure. you. Thank you. That was great.